Hi everyone. Today we're going to study double inequality. We say that when the end numbers of an interval on the number line is fixed, double inequality occurs. Let us see some cases of double inequality and this is the first case. We read this as A is less than X and X is less than B. Take note that the values are between A and B and A is less than B. If we're going to put this on the number line, first let us draw a number line and put the numbers A and B on it. Make sure that the lower number A is on the left side and the bigger number B will be on the right. And then we're going to connect these two numbers with the line segment and since a and B are not part of the solution, we put a hole on the A and B. And then for the interval notation, we're going to first write the end numbers, the A and the B, and use the parentheses. That means the A and the B are not part of the solution. Let's have example. Negative 3 is less than x and x is less than 4. On the number line, we will put the negative 3 here on the left side and the number 4 on the right. Then we are going to connect the two numbers with the line segment. And on the exact numbers negative 3 and 4 respectively, we are going to put these holes. And for our interval notation, we have the negative 3 and 4 as the end numbers and we will use the parentheses on both sides. That means the numbers negative 3 and 4 are not part of the solution set. Let's have case 2. A is less than or equal to X and X is less than B. On the number line, we put the numbers A and B respectively, making sure that the A is on the left side because that is a lower number and the bigger number is on the right. Then we will connect the two numbers. Since A is part of the solution, we are going to have a solid dot, while for the B, which is not part of the solution set, we are going to put a hole. For the interval notation, we wrote again the A and the B. For the A, we use the square bracket because A is part of the solution. And the B, we put parentheses, that means B is not part of the solution. Example, negative 6 is less than or equal to x and x is less than negative 1. On the number line, the negative 6 is on the left side, the negative 1 is on the right. Then we will connect the two numbers, but the negative 6 is part of the solution, we put the solid dot. For the negative 1, we put a hole because negative 1 is not part of the solution. For the interval notation, we put the negative 6 and negative 1, the end numbers of the solution set. Then we use the square bracket for the negative 6 because the negative 6 is part of the solution. We put the parentheses on the negative 1 because it is not part of the solution. Case 3, A is less than X 
and x is less than or equal to b. On the number line, the two numbers are here, a and b, making sure that a is on the left side being the lower number. And then we're going to connect the two numbers. For the a, we put a hole because it is not part of the solution set. For the b, there is a solid dot because b is part of the solution set. For the interval notation, we put again the end numbers, the a and b. For the a, we use parentheses because a is not part of the solution set. For the b, we use the square bracket, which means b is part of the solution set. Example, on the number line, the negative 2 is on the left side and the 5 is on the right. Then we will connect the two numbers. For the negative 2, we put a hole because it's not part of the solution set. For the 5, we put the solid dot because 5 is part of the solution set. And for the interval notation, we put the end numbers of the solution set, the negative 2 and the 5. And for the negative 2, we put the parentheses because the negative 2 is not part of the solution set, while square bracket for the 5 because 5 is part of the solution set. Case 4, when we have A is less than or equal to X, and x is less than or equal to b. On the number line, we put the a and b, making sure that a is on the left side, being the lower number. And then we will connect the two numbers. Numbers of the solution set are between the a and the b. Now, we put a solid dot on the a because a is part of the solution set. And also with the B, we put a solid dot, being the B as part of the solution set. For the interval notation, we use the square bracket for both sides because the A and the B are both parts of the solution set. Example, negative 2 is less than or equal to X and x is less than or equal to 5. On the number line, we have the negative 2 on the left side and 5 on the right. Then we will connect the two numbers. We use the solid dots for both the negative 2 and the 5. All the members of the solution set are in between this negative 2 and 5, including the two numbers. For our interval notation, we wrote here the endpoints or the end numbers and then the square brackets for both sides. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.